in 5 section 2 tutorial trinomials factorise x squared plus 10x plus 21 so I'm looking for first of all is there a common factor the first thing that I look when I factorise is to find a common factor there isn't one so the next one with trinomials which are these expressions with three terms I'm looking for two numbers that multiply together to give the last term and add together to give the coefficient of the middle term. So two numbers that multiply give 21, add together give 10, that's 7 and 3. And it's straight to brackets, x plus 7, bracket x plus 3. And that's the final answer for example 1. Example 2, factorise x squared plus 7x minus 18. Again, I look for the highest common factor, can't find one, so... I'm looking for two numbers that multiply together to give minus 18 and add together to give 7. Now, two numbers that multiply together, a negative result, must come from the numbers being of different signs. So I'll pause, have a wee think about it. And it's plus 9 and minus 2. 9 times minus 2 is minus 18. 9 minus 2 is 7. x plus 9 bracket x minus 2. That's the final answer. Next one, factorise x squared minus 10x plus 25. Again, look for the highest common factor. Can't find one. Two numbers that multiply together give plus 25. Add together give minus 10. So to get a positive result, that will need to come from the signs being the same. But if it's a negative in the middle, that must be a minus and a minus. So having a think about it, that's minus 5 and minus 5. Minus 5 times minus 5 is plus 25. And minus 5 minus 5 is minus 10. I can shorten that right down and write it as x minus 5 all squared, and that's the final answer. Factorise x squared minus 7x minus 30. No common factor. I'm looking for two numbers that multiply together of minus 30 and add together of minus 7. So to get a negative result, the signs must be different. So having a think about this one, two numbers that multiply to give minus 30 and add together of minus 7, take your time, and that's going to be plus 3 minus 10. 3 minus 10 is minus 7, and 3 times minus 10 is minus 30, so that's x plus 3 bracket x minus 10. Example 5, factorise minus x squared minus 10x plus 24. Now, the kind of distractor here is the minus in front of the x squared. We can manipulate the equation so that we don't need to deal with that. So take out minus 1 as a factor. And that will give us plus x squared. And it will change minus 10x to plus 10x. And 24 to minus 24 inside that rectangular bracket. The reason why I've done that is I'm keener to factorise a positive x squared than a minus x squared. So manipulate the question in that way so that you can do that. Keep the common factor of minus 1 out. Two numbers multiplied together to give minus 24. Add together to give 10. So the signs are going to be different, and that will be 12 and minus 2. So 12 minus 2 is 10, and 12 times minus 2 is minus 24. Remember, I need to open this back up with my common factor of minus 1, and that will be minus 1 bracket x plus 12 bracket x minus 2. I don't actually need the 1 there, just minus bracket x plus 12 bracket x minus 2, and that's the final answer to that one. Factorise minus 14 minus 5x plus x squared. No common factor. This is in a kind of awkward order, so all I'm looking to do first of all is just put things in order in which would be more comfortable, which is the x squared term first, followed by the x term, followed by the constant. So just go ahead and do that. x squared minus 5x minus 14. It's then two numbers that multiply together to give minus 14 and add together to give minus 5. So a negative there tells me it's going to be signs are different. So take your time and that's going to be plus 2 minus 7. 2 times minus 7 is minus 14 and 2 minus 7 is minus 5. So that's x plus 2 bracket x minus 7. And that's the final answer to that one. Next one, factorise 3x squared plus 6x plus 3. Now this looks as if, as if it might be a slightly longer example, but remember, 
always look for the highest common factor, and there is a common factor to take out, which is 3. That's 3 bracket x squared plus 2x plus 1. I then factorise the trinomial inside the bracket x squared plus 2x plus 1. Two numbers add together to give, two numbers that multiply together to give 1, add together to give 2, that's 1 and 1. x plus 1 bracket x plus 1, don't forget that there's 3 to the side. We can shorten that right down and write it as 3 bracket x plus 1 squared. And that's the final answer.